Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini weekly money and career reading from November 4th to the 10th, 2024. Gemini's, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Gemini's weekly money and career, November 4th to the 10th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of November. And if you're interested in participating in the October free reading, you can pop over there and put a magic word down below in any of uh, your signs readings. Okay. Grab your best headphones, earbuds for a better sound, and let's get started. I'm going to pull one oracle card, see what the root of the matter is, what we need to know for this weekly money and career for Gemini. What do we need to know? What is the root of the matter of this money and career reading November 4th to the 10th, 2024. What do we need to know? Oh, we have the birds. Communication, discussions, meetings. It can be gossip, um, but a lot of discussions, a lot of communication. Okay, Let's see where we're going with this. Apologies for my voice. Yes, I still have a cold, so just bear with me. I'm on the mend. All right, let's see what we have here for Gemini. What are the dis these discussions all about? What are you talking about? Are people communicating with you? Are people contacting you? What is this all about? Okay, High Priestess. So you have something developing here. You have something in gestation here with the, pri the, with the High Priestess. You're also processing something. So maybe you're processing um, something that's revealed, messages that are revealed within a conversation, within a meeting, or you're, you, something is revealed to you that you have to process with the high priestess, right? Um, is it something, because I feel like you have to think about this. So maybe you have to, Think about a project or a decision you have to make after a conversation, after a meeting, or after getting news or someone contacting you. That's possible. Follow your intuition, right? That's what the high priestess is all about. But it's also trying to find those answers, trying to reveal something from within, right? Trying to connect to your intuition, to your higher self, to to get information, to find information, to fix something, to get an answer of something or about something. Okay, so... Okay, we have the fool. So you're detaching yourself from something. You're believing in yourself to embark on a new journey, to embark in a new job, a new career um, that you've never done before. This is outside of your comfort zone, but it's also you needing to heal from past energies. But here with the high priestess, it's also about embracing your connection to compassion, to empathy to your inner wisdom. So there's communication here, but those are also a lot of understanding or you have to understand or you have to have compassion while you have these meetings. There's something that is revealed that you need to connect with, or maybe you didn't know about it, or maybe, um, um, it's emotional because it's all about feeling. It's all about collaborating uh, and or, or creating, but it's also about trusting your energy and not fighting it or not competing with it or not destroying with it, destroying it, right? Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, combating this very strong. So this can be an Aries Leo Sag 
around you with whom you're talking, a boss or someone you're communicating with regarding a job, regarding a business or, or, or a project or something like that. It feels like um, you need to get back into a trusting energy, trusting yourself, trusting, you know, like being proud of yourself and, and being proud of your ability to nurture something and trust yourself that you can nurture this, you can create this, you can be part of this, you can communicate with these people, or you can be part of this job, business, whatever it is. It's about empathizing and not hiding away. So maybe there are issues you need to talk about, or maybe it's very creative and it demands a lot of collaboration, uh, putting yourself in into another energy that you've never been in before. Maybe it's a company or a subject or a field or a product or an idea, whatever it is, um, that maybe you've never worked with these people anymore. Maybe it's from another country or another culture or another language or something like that. And it feels like whatever this job business project it is, it feels like you need a lot, you need to collaborate with people. You need to listen to people. You need to have a lot of conversation. You need to feel into it. In other words, it's all about emotions and empathy. So this tells me that maybe this is something creative, artistic, writing, um, creating something. And it could be anything. I'm not, to, I'm not going to give you the laundry list about creating something, right? But it's also, it, it's also very emotional. So it, it you know, Creativity is emotions. Art is emotion. Anything, you know, music, art, dancing, creating beautiful spaces, creating beautiful food. That's about sharing, caring, and um, offering other people emotions on what you're creating, right? To share that. But it can also be you going on a journey with the fool that you've never been on before, helping others, guiding others, or having to listen to others and share your stories, having empathy to share different emotions, that is a possibility as well. Okay, very interesting. It's, it's all about embracing and not hiding away. So maybe you do have to share emotions. Maybe you have to tell your story and to tell your story uh, that is demanding you to um, embrace certain feelings, process certain feelings or your journey or triggers or wounds that you might not have shared before. Okay. Profound, profound reading. Hierophant, you're making something official and it's giving you stress and it's a whole new direction. Wow. So that confirms that you're gaining clarity of something or there's a revelation regarding something, there's a decision there or, you know, really to change paths. And this is something somewhat of a revelation or somewhat of a truth coming out with this um, ace of with this ace of swords, gaining clarity. It's very clear in your mind now that that's the journey you're going to be on, or that is what you need to emphasize on, in other words, your emotions, your connections to others, and your empathy if you want to go on this journey. And it feels like that's stressing you out, right? But the Hierophant is there to seal the deal. So maybe this is a spiritual guide, or maybe this is the person that you're working with, or maybe this is the establishment, the company, or the professor, the teacher, someone there that is guiding you and opening doors for you and sealing the deal. Um, it's, it feels like it's something that is more traditional, more structured. It can be spirituality, but it can also be maybe you're working for government or maybe working for law or maybe you're working for a structure, um, um, a business or an establishment that requires a lot of red tape, a lot of rules, regulations, 
right? But here with this Ace of Wands, it's it's that it's almost like a revelation to you, like a new idea, like uh, or or finally your understanding, finally you get it, or finally this is becoming very clear in your mind. The situation is becoming very clear, and it's becoming very clear that this is the beginning of a new path that you're embracing. Interesting, very interesting. So let's clarify a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what these, um, this communication is all about or these discussions. What is what is what are these discussions all about with the birds? Why are the birds here? Why, what is this communication about? About family, balance in your family, wanting to be happy and wanting to have harmony in your family. So you have success over that, but with the world, it feels like this success or the power you have to bring harmony in your family or just be happy and feel balanced and feel like your family has everything they need, you are having to step into a new cycle with the world, right? Understanding that... Um, Maybe you've achieved something so far and now you're choosing a new path. You're having, you know, these truths coming out or having to deal with something that is becoming very emotional for you. Now, again, these emotions can be all about your job, you know, or that business you're creating or the people you're connecting with, discussing this new job, project, business, whatever it is, because you're accomplishing something here while you're having these discussions. So either you're finding clarity in the whole process, in revealing your, you know, your emotions, or either you are gaining power here and opening doors to start a new business, a new career path, because we have the fool. So the fool is the first step into the unknown, the first step into your new path, but it is also detaching yourself from old obligations, old uh, people you don't want to work with anymore, or people that thought they could sort of not manipulate you, but, you know, liked to have you under their orders right? Maybe it's an old boss. Maybe it's someone you were working with. Maybe something like that. And here you're detaching. It's like you want to, you don't want to be part of that anymore. And you want to go out and do your own thing. And anything's possible here with, after this revelation, if this is what you want to do. And with the world card, you know, it's, it's just like, you are going to be in the right place. You are going to feel complete. This is the joy of bringing it all together. So even though it's stressful and even though you are really um, stepping into something you've never done before, taking that leap of faith, you're really coming into your own, right? You're, this is about accepting who you are and and what you want in life and what you're all about and, and letting go harmful illusions, right? Or people you don't want to work with anymore and really acknowledging your place within the world and opening yourself up and maybe you're traveling and maybe this is in another country and maybe you're these are discussions you're having with uh, people that you usually don't have discussions with because it's a new environment for you. And that's why you're freaked out, but you're persevering with the Nine of Cups. The courage to go out and work in something completely different or navigate other seas or uh, take on a job that's going to require travel or move to another country, space, city, whatever it is. All right, let's see. Okay, so let's pull some card. I'm going to pull a card on this. High Priestess, because this is all about the process, the process of communication, not fighting it, not hiding away, 
and feeling into the process and feeling into this communication or the people you're talking to and understanding that if you want to do this, if you want to get into this, uh, you, you have to listen to others, exchange, exchange a lot of emotions. Mm, interesting. All right. So what is this? high priestess all about yep there you go and letting go letting go emotions there we go there we go with the emotions and you're letting go something and maybe you're letting go uh, a past job or you know dynamics work dynamics um you're this is a whole new adventure for you and the process is there with the high priestess the process of revealing something to you that you probably have bottled up or that you have not connected with in a long time and this new adventure here you need that you need to share your story or you need to share something that you've probably not shared in a long time whatever it is comment down below jim and i let me know what this is all about and for jim and i you know, this is not something that you usually do. And I always say that, Gemini, you usually are very intellectual or, or, or think with your mind, make decisions with your mind. It's much more mental and intellectual than emotional. But here it's having to dig, dig within to share those moments, that story, that information, whatever it is, emotions. Wow, look at all this. The Empress, this is something you've worked on. And between the High Priestess and the Empress, with the High Priestess is something that you've been developing, that's been in um, brewing for a while, uh, working on a project, you know, planting your seeds, connecting with people to be able to go on a new journey, on a new job, open your own business, whatever it is. Here you are growing you're going to be able to grow grow your garden grow your business grow in that job this is the moment where you're releasing all those emotions those layers upon layers of things that you didn't want to share or shied away or don't want to talk about or hide away right now you're in the spotlight and this is actually utilizing what you didn't want to share or what was deep down right? That is actually what you're going to nurture and grow. That's how you're going to grow in your job or grow in your business. That's again, these are something you're sharing and you have an offer here. Again, um, a really beautiful creative offer. And you have the magician highly highly inspired this is probably something you've manifested something you've wanted to do but a, a sort of like a dream project because the the page of cups is also someone now this can be someone around you someone um younger than you with less, less experience and you know with that you know a lot of dreams and you know uh things that are really um creative, but a little dreamy, a little head in the clouds, right? This can be someone younger around you that's offering you to participate in something, but you feel like it's a little too dreamy and head in the clouds and you feel like it's not very, um, you, it, like you have, they have to go back down into reality a little bit to make it happen. But I think that both energies are good because you need a person a little like that to believe and, you know, create. This can also be you, but I feel like this is an offer coming from a person like that. A little idealistic, right? But <clears throat> very inspiring for you. Very inspiring. And here's the beginning here. Beginning, 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 beginning. Um, you're very enthusiastic and, um, it's, it's, you're very motivated. It's good energy, but what you're tapping into is emotional. All right. And I, I know you probably don't like to hear that. All right. So let's see what this, what this new journey is all about. I think I want to change decks. All right. Uh, why is the fool here? What is this journey all about? What is Gemini? What is Gemini's new path? 
Why is the fool here? What is this all about? What are they detaching themselves from? What is this new path? Okay, so there you are, Gemini. Wow, powerful. You're empowered mentally, uh, very intelligent, but you're very authoritarian. Like, this is what you're going to do. This is how it's going to happen. And then you have the lovers, something very, very... Um, it's This is a choice. Um, a choice that you're making. Um, you're very clear. It's, it's also about integrity and truth. There's a truth here that's coming out. Truth. Truth with the high priestess. There's a certain clarity on a truth that's coming out with this queen of swords. The queen of swords is, doesn't dilly-dally. She tells it like it is, right? She's very, very um, matter of fact. She is the queen with the least empathy in all the queens, right? But she's very empowered to get the truth out. But also, you know, very principled, very independent. This is also constructive criticism. Like, this is the way we have to do it. You're the authority. You, 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 let's, let's reach our goal. And let's not talk about emotions all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, this whole thing is very emotional. So maybe it's very creative. Or maybe there are a lot of people telling their stories. Or maybe you really have to tap into, you know, something that you really don't want to tap into. Whatever. And and maybe you're not the only one that has to tap into emotions, right? And And you're like, okay, but we also need to make this happen. We also need to be realistic. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm tapping into the page of cups a little bit. That's a little idealistic, head in the clouds that talk about this and very emotional, very creative, not all over the place, but not very matter of fact. And sort of you're bringing this down. If you want to go on this journey, we have to reach goals. We have to look at facts. We have to make decisions. We can't just dilly-dally and talk about our emotions and creativity all the time. We also have to put facts and numbers on this or maybe business plans or fact sheets and things like that. And that's how you come in. And I like this because it, but it's a little stern, right? You're, you're No emotions. Like This really represents the, emo, the importance of that you have of, of, of making judgment without relying on, on emotions and saying like, okay, well, I'll be part of this. I love this journey and I'm okay going on a new path and going out and discovering something I've never done before and just check it out and see where it goes. But I'm also not okay just head in the clouds and let's just be creative and that's the end of that. We also need to put numbers on this in facts. Okay. And you... And, and you're confirming that with the lovers, which is all about honesty, integrity, and understanding that um, this decision is like you're making the conscious decision to connect with this pe these people or connect with this page of cops or this idea, this business, this job, whatever it is. Like um, it's a choice about who you want to be in this lifetime. That's why it is a leap of faith. That's why it is. That's why it is a new path for you and maybe an unknown path. But you want to connect with others. You want to connect with them or you like what they're saying. And you know what? It can be also, it can be, maybe you're writing a book or maybe you're shooting a movie or maybe you're, you know, and, and you have to talk to certain people or maybe you're working with kids um, and you have to talk to certain people to collect ideas to understand where they're coming from or you know they have a lot to say and a lot to communicate and exchange and connect and you have to connect with them but you also it's almost like you have to transform this into reality transform it into a book transform it into a, a movie or a or a series or 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 something or animation or a game or or something you're creating something, but you have to, I, it's almost like you're, you're the intellectual part or you're the one that will bring it all together financially. Um, and also, uh, it makes sure you business wise, right. And then the other ones are artistic. 
other ones or other one, right? And so it's about connecting with others and on what level and making that choice and very clear on your choice. But also I feel like you're able to be yourself in this new job, project, business. But it is a new place. This just popped out, so we're gonna do this. Yeah, you're ending something, 10 of swords, and then you're choosing to rise up to something different, and it's ch it is really changing your destiny. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight major arcana, eight, and I'm probably forgetting some. Um, and it and it's this this judgment is just confirming that you're destined to something completely different, or you're destined to so much more. But it's about opening up your heart, having to open up your heart no matter what, right? And share your emotions with others again. It's like you have to get into this without barriers. What you see is what you get. And that's what's going to propel this project or allow you to tap into these people, tap into these emotions, this idea, this community, this business, whatever it is. Comment down below, Gemini. It's something very interesting. And again, with the judgment, it's changing your life. You might be moving. This is a concrete change, material change, moving doing something completely different, working with another, other people, a complete new business or it's a new company, whatever it is, it is a big, big change in your path. All right, what's the Hierophant here for? Why is the Hierophant here? No, yeah, no. Why is the Hierophant here for Gemini? Weekly money and career, November 4th to the 10th. 2024. Why is the Hierophant here? Thank you. Okay, so done with something. Three of Swords. And then the Ten of... See, it's almost like the burden of others is your success. Again, translating other people's emotions, other people's stories, sorrow, um, healing, three of swords, and that's bringing you balance. Wow, that's bringing you abundance, financial abundance. So either something has become official on, you know, maybe a, a business or a job or a connection that you that that you wanted out or you don't want to work with them anymore. And that is really bringing you happiness. And maybe let's see if we get the justice card, because maybe you're getting justice over something right with this three of swords. Because it can be loss of finance, it can be loss of a job, but I don't think, I think that this Hierophant here is giving you the answer. Yeah, it's stressful. Why do we have one more card on that? Ooh, okay. I feel like these wanted to, yeah, it's stressful. You felt stuck in that same energy for a while and you're triumphant over that. You have victory over that. So maybe you have victory. We don't have justice, but, oh, well, there's justice. Okay. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm taking this. Yes. Okay. So there's justice. There's a decision there. So whether it's court, you have a court decision there that's putting everybody back in their place. And this is for your higher good. This is for you. You get justice over something. And you get justice over something that's bringing you abundance and it's empowering you to go work on this project, idea, business, 
right? This, this justice, we have two times the Ten of Cups, which tells me that this is about your fulfillment, your happiness. And it's a strong sense of fulfillment in a job, allowing you to live your lifestyle and live your values. And this is something important for you. And I feel like whatever you're letting go or whatever has triggered you to embark on this new journey is emotional either for you or other people, and you're exchanging this, you're communicating. This is a real beautiful come together emotionally project. Again, people's stories, understanding others, or bringing things together, and bring this whole project together, because I don't think you're alone here. But it's, it's, it's a revelation to you. It's revealing a side of you that maybe you have never nurtured before or never shared before. Very fascinating reading. Um, Gemini, I'm going to take one more deck that I don't use very often on this Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this new direction and clarity here. The owl, intelligence. You're very bright, Gemini. You're very bright. And there you have the balance again. So you're utilizing justice to get the truth. You're utilizing justice to get the truth and your intelligence to get stories and the truth out of people to move forward on something so much more important. Why is the justice, uh, why is the judgment there? Sorry, I'm digging a little deeper. Why is the judgment here? Because, oh, it was like this. Because you were hurt. And this is at your advantage. You're a step forward. You win in this whole thing. Wow, very, very interesting. All right, um, is there one more card that wants to come out? Oh, beautiful. And over that you have the dove, which is serenity, calm, appeasement. So whatever your story is, Whatever you're bringing forward, whatever you're sharing and embarking on a new journey, developing whatever it is, it's really beautiful, Gemini. So comment down below. Let me know what this is all about. If you care to share, obviously, if you don't want to share, you don't have to. But um, it's a very emotional, it's particularly for a Gemini that usually doesn't share too much emotion. Um, it's a powerful, powerful journey you are on. And... Um, let me know. Let me know. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Gemini, a weekly money and career. November 4th to the 10th, 2024. A lot of cards came out afterwards. Okay, let's see. Yeah, having to adapt, right? Prioritizing adapting to a certain new energy path people business whatever it is and look at that you have the sun it's really making you happy it's a positive positive change giving you hope um you're believing in this and again you're bridging the gap between dream and reality this is your it's almost like you're the catharsis no you cat catharsis we say that I know you'll tell me. I know you'll help me out and comment. But you're channeling other people's energies and other people's stories. And you're the channeler. And you are going to pull it all together or develop it or begin something with this. And it's also a sense of healing. 
there's money coming in. You're determined. You're ready for this. You're balanced. And, and you're not going to look back on this. Here's the chariot. Full force forward. Two of wands opening up. There might be two people there that are confronting each other. But you're opening up to the world. And there you are, king of swords. Empowered intellectually. You are the authority on this. You are the authority. Highly educated or highly experienced or you know your job. You know you're the person for this. You are the powerhouse here, Gemini. You are the powerhouse. Wow. What a, a beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your journeys, for sharing your energies on this channel. Gratitude. Gratitude to everyone connecting to these readings, watching these readings. Gratitude. I want to say that, yeah, you're, the magic word here is powerhouse. You are the authority here, Scorpio. You are the authority. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the word powerhouse down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Don't forget to double check that you are subscribed. Even if you've been subscribed for a long time, just double check that you still are as YouTube does its magic. Um, and thank you so much for your support. And if you're just popping in, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for subscribing. If you're uh, in the mood also to support this channel one step further, you can do so by uh, clicking on uh, the join button. That'll take you wherever you wish to go. And it will also give you access to a free question during lives. Lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Would love to have you there, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.